Hi, this is Rainbow Harmony, here to help you find balance and peace to live a more colorful life. And this is your personal reading. Thanks again for booking another reading from me. I'm really appreciating your support. And I feel like this is a really good time for you to be asking for these readings because there is so much happening here in your energy. I'm really excited to see this golden opportunity card already popping out for you. So um, this is a reading for you on your career on your finances and on your home. So I simply shuffled the cards, praying and asking that whatever messages are gonna resonate and help uplift you and guide you the most would come out. So <laughs> they definitely know what we're talking about because we, I drew the abundance card. So let's get started here. First of all, what I'm seeing is right now you're feeling a bit unfulfilled. I feel like you're the kind of person who really rolls with the punches, so you might not really admit to yourself, like, I'm unhappy here, but I feel like that's what's going on. Like, you're at this place where you're unhappy, you want to take things to the next level, you have some big dreams and big goals, and th that's what this card is representing. This is talking about making a wish, setting an intention, and knowing that it's yours. You know, I discovered the law of attraction two years ago, and it blew my mind. I always, um, I don't know, I always heard about, like, Esther, Abraham Hicks, or whatever, and all those people who were really into, like, think positive and stuff, which I'm not super into, but I looked at the law of attraction and realized that it really is a mindset when it comes to accomplishing your dreams in your life and manifesting the things that you want. And 90% of it comes down to intention actually feeling worthy to set an intention and admit to yourself like yes I want to make changes yes I want this thing and I'm ready for more and I'm you know this is what I want so that's basically what I'm seeing for you is that it's hard for you to pull up that inner strength to be like you know what this is what I want and I'm going to go for it um on my journey, I completely understand this because I didn't come from a background where I was extremely privileged. Um, I feel privileged now. I call myself a trust fund child of the universe. <laughs> That's one of my affirmations. I am a trust fund child of the universe. So hey, why not try some affirmations while you're at it? But um, yeah, along my earlier journey, I was definitely not privileged, came from a very poor background and um, poor by choice. I feel like, you know, my family could have made some other choices, but um, some people just get stuck down in that lack mentality, feeling like there's nothing you can do. And I, my dream was always to be a fashion stylist. I always wanted to be a fashion stylist. I have, you know, many gifts and talents, just like we all do. And I found myself working this job with children for 12 years, but I would go home at night and dream of being a fashion stylist. And I was working so much just to make like, I don't remember, like just barely any money and um, you know, it was all I could do is just to keep the lights on and a roof over my head. So I feel like you might be in a situation that's a little bit better than that. I feel like things are flowing for you. There's abundance that's been coming in um, and I feel like you're you're satisfied where you're at but like you have some big dreams. That That's what it was. Like I loved working with children. I had a thriving business. Um, the people who I worked with, it was a great community and it was supporting me and I just thought that's where it ended. But turns out I had these secret dreams deep inside and I knew I needed to do something about it. So I started in the evenings and in the mornings um, going on Pinterest and pinning ideas of fashion models and clothes and places I wanted to go and like things I wanted to do and how I wanted to make photo shoots. And I started hitting up photographers and asking them, hey, do you want to shoot with me? And I started going to, to the thrift store and picking out clothes and styling them on the models. And I put them on the internet. And before long, it blew up and turned into my thriving fashion business. And I now work for some of the designers that I used to pin on uh, my mood boards. <laughs> so um, it's an awesome story. I always tell it on the channel to tell people that like, don't ignore the, the passions inside of you. You might be really well suited for the job that you're doing. You might be really good at it. There might be like a whole community. You might have friends who work with you, um, but there's a part of you inside that knows that maybe there's something else you're supposed to do. Maybe you're made for more. And who knows, maybe whatever you're, else you're supposed to do is something that you can do part-time um, while you stay in your current line of work. But I don't know, for you, I'm kind of feeling like you want to leave and like you want to experience some different things. And um, I do see this potential for you to be able to um, move forward here and because um, you're feeling very unfulfilled because this is the fulfillment card and we're getting it reversed. 
Um, but what we should focus on is the opportunity that you have. They're saying important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. I'm being guided to actually read this excerpt to you from the book because it talks a lot about opportunities. The thing you got to realize about opportunities is that the universe is going to keep sending you opportunities. Once you move forward, because the universe mirrors you, once you move forward and decide, okay, like I'm going to do this thing. I'm going to be a fashion stylist and I'm going to start pinning these photos on this mood board. Guess what the universe does? The universe goes over here and um, takes and brings this person like into your life and goes, all right, here's a person who's going to, I'm going to throw into the situation. Who's a photographer who's going to help you. And so, you know, this photographer emails me and says, Hey, I promise I saw that you were doing um, this stuff on the internet with your fashion style. And do you want to work with me? And I go, yes. Then I do the photo shoot and the photos get published. I get another opportunity from it. So do you kind of see how it works? You make the decision like, okay, I'm going to do pottery and um, you go out and get the clay. And then um, maybe you're at the store and you, you run into somebody who has like all these clay beads all over them and clay necklaces. And you're like, wow, I love your necklaces. Are those made of clay? And they're like, yeah, I go to this class once a week and I made them there. And the person's like, oh, well, let's you know come to the class with me. I'm doing pottery too. You know what I'm saying? Like there's weird synchronicities and like, like gifts and miracles that come along your path. And that's what we forget. We get depressed. We get stuck in a job. We feel like... We're stuck. We don't realize that like if we just try, if we just like try make a little bit of effort, the universe will bless you. It, it's amazing. It'll mirror you and it'll bring um, situations to help guide you forward. And when doors close, it's not your path. You know, when you're feeling tired, you're feeling worn out, you're feeling run ragged. Maybe that's not your path. Maybe that's a sign that things need to change. So this card says, like the ocean, life moves in waves and tides. Timing is everything, so when an opportunity presents itself, you must dive in at that moment. Everything that you've done to prepare yourself will accompany you. Yet, if you hesitate or procrastinate, another opportunity will surely come along, just as the tides wash in and out continuously. Like the ocean, life is rich with variety and beauty. Enjoy experiencing its various rhythms and allow all doubts to be rushed away. They're saying it's the right thing for you to do. Um, your prayers are being answered. Get ready for a big and happy change. I feel like you've already had a lot of success in your work. You've already, um, you know, you've landed jobs. You've, um, I feel like you're a leader in some way in your job. Um, but I feel like there's more for you out there. But it doesn't mean that, like, you have to become disinterested with where you're at. A huge part of the journey is learning how to honor and celebrate where you're at and also be able to, like, gracefully transition to the next level. There was a whole point where I realized I wanted to be a fashion stylist, but I still had to keep working for another like six or seven years at my job to transition out to the next level. That's just how it worked out for me. And um, I had to find a way to like be happy where I was, but also like know that like I was heading to the next level and like to, to let that ground me and know that I was like moving forward. I see that your soul longs to be free. Your soul, this is the horse card, it's reversed. I feel like... There's been some kind of delay on this. Like you want to be free. You want to express yourself. This is talking about freedom, expression, expansion, travel. And I feel like you want to get out there. You want to explore. And um, you're just waiting for some prosperity to come in. And so I do see that abundance is coming. They're saying the universe is pouring its abundance out to you. Be open to receiving. And I see this journey card here. So it's making me think maybe you're supposed to travel somewhere. Maybe there's a specific place that you've been like feeling like you want to go visit. For me, it's Italy. I don't know. I just, I really want to go to Italy. I've been wanting to go there forever and I'm going. I'm so excited. And um, I just feel like it's going to help inspire me. And maybe there's somewhere you're supposed to go that's supposed to inspire you. Maybe there's like nuggets of like information for you there in the soil or something. Um... But I've, I'm picking up on like some like hidden dreams you have. Like there's still like this inner child inside of you that wants to be free and that wants to explore and and wants, you know, laughter, play and sunshine and to see the world. So just give yourself um, some fun and some play because I feel like you need to figure out what it is that you want to do in order to like move forward from this line of work into something that's more heart based 
more like something that you're more passionate about you might be called to start some type of like business to offer some type of product or some type of service or something to others and um, right now you're on this journey to um, basically manifest the prosperity and the means and the inspiration that you need to bring this down into the 3d I'm getting a really positive card for you like this is talking about love You've been really frustrated when it comes to love. I do feel like there's something coming in though. You're frustrated, but I'm seeing this beautiful partnership. I'm seeing this beautiful connection. And then we're seeing the sun. This is the most positive card in all of the tarot deck. It means if you had a big question coming into this, you, you had something you were wondering about at the beginning of the reading, whatever that is, the answer is yes, because this is the yes card. And seeing it next to this you know, lover's card makes me think, you know, throw those frustrations out the window. Know that big and happy changes are right around the corner. Maybe whoever this person is that's coming in your life or your partner or something is going to be the one that's going to help inspire you and motivate you and uplift you so that you can make these changes. Um, I'm getting more money, <laughs> more money, <laughs> more. Um, I am getting more money. It's actually true. And so are you. <laughs> Um, but I'm getting messages about like you needing to figure out how to manifest when I realized that I could manifest it changed my my life and you know the first time I ever learned how to manifest was actually going to my psychic the first time I ever went to see my psychic her name is Kristen and she's just amazing um, she's located a couple towns away from me so I see her every couple months but she um, she told me that what I needed to do was to clear out my root chakra. She said that the root chakra is connected to money and is connected to manifesting and that you have to like clear energetic space in order to be able to manifest money. So I went home and I did some research and I found out that your root chakra is connected to like your core traumas, anything that happened in your family growing up, any major breakups or heart breaks or losses you've experienced. And a lot of times we just take all that pain and we just kind of shove it away. And um, basically what I had to do was allow myself to go through like a grieving process and kind of like go into the darkness and kind of re-explore some of that. And um, what I used was meditation. I went on YouTube and I typed in clear your root chakra meditation. And I just started there and I, I found meditations I liked and that helped. And I just did them like once a week. And um I started doing affirmations like I started noticing when I was thinking like when I was at the grocery store and I started thinking like negatively like oh I don't have enough money for this I started like trying to change my mindset I started trying to like tell myself like you know what actually I do have enough money it's just I have other priorities and um, you know I'm really working towards this financial goal of trying to save over here for this other thing so it's just like my choice but if I really wanted to buy that I could and you know, you got to trick yourself because a lot of times you, we go around and we're telling ourselves, oh, I can't buy that or oh, I'm, oh, I'm broke or I'm this or I'm that. And you start saying those things out loud and, it, and word is bond. It starts really um, becoming your reality. So um, I used this tip when I was homeless and I was broke. I started just telling myself like, I am abundant. I am the universe. I am money. <laughs> I have the ability to manifest whatever I want in my life. My circumstances don't define me. I'm... I am prosperous and I can feel my abundance coming to me. And I, I did like, you know, I freaking sang Kumbaya and did all the things because I was broke. <laughs> and a lot of times that's how we find our way to the law of attraction or we, or it's a lot of times that's how we find our way back to our power through these situations where we're totally screwed and we have no choice but to surrender. And um, in those moments, we realize our true power. We realize that there's no need to worry that Whatever the situation is, we can grow from it, we can learn from it, and we can turn it around into something that serves us. So that's what they're saying. They're saying turn this whole situation around into something that serves you and be ready to manifest your infinite supply. It's time for you to do some research. It's time for you to, to spend some time working on your mind because it truly is all a mindset. If you want more money, you've got to change the way that you think about money. You got to change the way that you think about yourself because money is energy, you know? And if, if you deep down inside don't believe that you're worthy of money and you, you have these beliefs like it's, you got to work super hard to get money and you know, money only comes to people like this and not to people, you know, like sometimes just deep down, you realize you've got these subconscious limiting beliefs. So I feel like that's what they're telling you to surrender. They're just like, it's time to surrender. 
it's time to like let go of control and see what the universe um, can do for you and why not test the universe that's what I did I, I found the law of attraction I found all this information online and I was like all right I'm gonna give this a shot I'm gonna see if this if this works and guess what it does and and I'm using it to this day I mean this is um Look it, I don't show anyone this. I haven't finished it yet, but I made this for 2018. These are all the things I want. I want to interview and do a video with Teal Swan for Rainbow Harmony. I want to style Teal Swan for a photo shoot. I want to release my first card deck. I want to get signed to a legit fashion agency in Paris and London that treats me well. Like, <laughs> these are just some things that I want. And as you... You know, I, I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed that I want those things. Um, I'm obviously on that list. I put world peace and on that list I put like some things I want to work on but I also put the things that I really want my dreams and you know, even if some people might be like, why do you want that or oh like who cares like You will benefit from moving forward and, and making the things that truly count to you and your life a priority so basically what I'm realizing is that you need to let go of guilt and shame. Let go of the guilt and shame and just figure out what it is that you want. Figure out what really makes, excites you, makes your heart sing, you know? Is it being in vogue, <laughs> like on my hair? Is it being published in vogue? Is it making enough income to travel and live comfortably and still be able to save? <laughs> Is it going to fashion week and becoming a street style star? <laughs> Why not just ask? Why not just ask for the things you want? It's either saying, allow, allow yourself to um, ask for what you want from the universe and to have courage. It took courage for me to write that list because there's a million and one voices inside my head, my inner critic telling me like, who are you to ask for that? And who do you think you are? And like, oh, like, really? Is all this going to happen in one year? And like, but how is it going to happen? Oh, but you don't have enough time. Oh, but you don't have enough money. Oh, but you're too fat. Oh, but you're not pretty enough. Oh, but... <laughs> do you hear this? <laughs> this is what's going on inside our heads, you know? We're... Our inner critic is just so mean, and so you got to learn how to coexist. The inner critic over time is going to get silent. You will silence the inner critic by just doing what you love anyways, and you'll prove to your inner critic over time that it's safe for you to be yourself. It's safe for you to have courage. It's safe for you to um, decide what you want and to go get it. So I know this has been a lot of information so far, but... One of the last things I want to tell you about your money and home and abundance situation is that money flows where your energy and passion goes. So for me, I was passionate in my job where I worked with children, but my true passion was fashion styling. So there was like a limit to how much money and how much abundance I could make with the children. And once I finally started doing the card readings and I started do, you know, because I love this too. I mean, I absolutely adore this, obviously. Um, once I started doing this and I started doing my fashion styling, all of a sudden I wasn't homeless anymore and I was making all this money. So <laughs> I just realized that like, you know, when you do what you love, that's where the money goes. So to anyone else, it might seem completely nonsensical to become an actor or to, you know, so clothing or something or to um you know want to be a reiki healer or to you know be a musician or something but i know a ton of people out there that are making tons of money um in those types of industries because their true passion is there and like they're you know all the energy is flowing to them so they're trying to reassure you they're telling you the time is now. The time is now to figure out, like, what do you want? Like, what do you really want? And they're saying, don't forget, you're a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. So it's time to do some research on manifestation. So let's read the last couple cards for you on your home situation and your money situation. They're saying, it's so, like, kind of repeating messages here. 
it's okay to allow yourself to be vulnerable in this situation and to speak your truth. So um, they're saying, like, speak your truth to the universe. You know, tell the universe what you want and what's important to you. And they're telling you to start with gratitude. Gratefulness, even in this situation, is the point. Let your gratitude take you to your dreams. So um, that's something I also use. You're going to learn through um, your research on manifestation that gratitude helps lift your energy and your vibration up so that you can be open to receive more. So I start every morning off with my gratitude. I try to wake up every morning and no matter how upset I am, I do my gratitude. <laughs> and it always gets me into a better mood. Um, you know, just, just be thankful that you woke up here again. There's obviously a reason you're here another day and um, just be thankful that that you have a roof over your head, food on your table, you've got water. Start there, you know? and. Your final message is that there are infinite ways this could work out. So why limit yourself to just this one way? The way that you've been doing things isn't bad, okay? There's nothing wrong with where you're at right now. And they're trying to tell you, like, good job. Like, you've really done a lot with this. And um, you could do so much more. And I feel like they're just trying to encourage you to... to um, honor and embrace where you're at because I feel like you're going to be where you're at for a little while longer. Remember I told you it took me like six or seven years to get out of my job working with children. Um, I don't think it's going to take you that long so don't be discouraged but there's going to be this period where you're in this transition in between moving from where you're at right now to the dream and to manifesting this and they're saying don't get discouraged. Um, keep going. Your circumstances don't define you and you're you're heading to this whole new beautiful place in your life full of golden opportunities so I hope that this inspired you and motivated you and uplifted you overall it's just time for you to figure out like the main card that's sticking out for me is this one figure out what it is that you want and that's pretty much 90% of it indecisiveness is what keeps the universe from being able to bring us our dreams so just decide what you want it's that simple Peace out.